Can you see colors? I can't. Well, not really. We're going to talk about colorblindness. Good morning. Today, I want to talk about something I deal with pretty much every day. I am colorblind. I'm pro tan colorblind, which means that um, I have basically the worst kind of red-green colorblindness there is. I took a colorblindness test for the first time about two years ago, and I thought I was being super smart. I'm arranging these caps, and I failed that test in every way possible. So I am pretty colorblind. I have been this way my whole life. And I want to talk about being colorblind. And, and my experience in, in being colorblind is not unique. There are a lot of different kinds of colorblindness. Uh, there's, a, there's an artist here in town uh, who is, she sees in black and white. And so all of her, she does these amazing charcoal and pencil drawings and, and all in grayscale. And I can't imagine what she sees. Um, but I can't imagine what you see either. As far as I know, I can see all the colors. It just turns out that there are apparently more colors. So I want to talk about colorblindness and, and sort of how I cope with it and how I deal with it and things that I do and things that I don't do with it or because of it, as I thought it would be fun. Um, there are colors. I understand color theory, you know, primary colors, secondary colors, but there are colors that do not exist to me. Magenta? I understand what magenta is, but I couldn't pick it out of a lineup. I know that it's really important in uh, television sets. It's not, not new ones, I don't think, but in old ones, magenta light is a really important component of old school television sets. But I don't know what magenta looks like. It looks like pink or purpley blue. There are colors that I just hate. Like There are lots of color, other colors that don't exist to me, like burgundy and turquoise and uh, sea foam and hunter green. I, uh, they, 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 it, I can't sort of pick them down that far. You know, I can pick out green most of the time, but different kinds of green? No, green comes in two varieties, light and dark. That's it. I mean, there are colors that I just hate. Purple? I hate purple. I don't, I don't hate the way it looks. I like the idea of purple. There are lots of occasions on which I might even you know, wear purple, although I don't think I own anything purple, on account of I hate purple. Because I cannot figure out what purple looks like. Every time I think something is purple, it's blue. Or it's like a bluey green. Or it's pink. No clue. The only reason I know which marker I have in my, in my pencil crayon or crayon set is purple is because it's labeled. And that's how I mix them, <laughs> that's how I tell them apart, is because they're labeled. If they're not labeled, seriously, I'm going to think that purple is navy blue, or I'm just going to look at it and go, I don't know. That's I don't. I don't know what color things are. I don't think about what color things are. I have, to, I have this elaborate guessing system where I run through all these things in my head that I know for sure what color they are because... Either they're a thing that's a specific color, like, you know, evergreen trees are green, fire trucks are red, uh, the TARDIS is blue, you know, or I try and I try and compare the object that I'm figuring out what color is, but generally, you don't really need to know what color things are very often. And so it just sort of becomes irrelevant. I mean, you, you notice my, my wardrobe, a lot of black, a lot of solid colors, you know, so I don't need to worry about it. And I, and I have color-sighted people with better sense than me who I can ask when it comes to things like that. But general everyday life, it doesn't matter whether your pen is red or blue. Unless you're an accountant. But you get this guessing system that I, that I built up. You know, there's all these objects I know what color they are. And so I can go, okay, that, what color is this? Because invariably, by the way, when you tell someone that you're colorblind, the very first thing they will do more often than not, is pick up some object and go, what color is this? And if you can figure out the first three objects, they will then go, well, you're not really colorblind. You're like, yeah, I am colorblind. I'm just not an idiot. I can get by in the world and figure out what color things are without being completely baffled at everything. 
But some things totally baffled. Beige? Seriously. No clue. I am beige, but I don't understand beige as a color. It just doesn't fit within my hierarchy of colors. Which maybe just makes me weird. And there's a there's a frustration that comes with that, I think. Whenever I'm trying to do design or or you know, put together put together a house in Minecraft. Uh, we're restarting the Minecraft server, so I'm going to start doing some Minecraft videos soon. And I'm trying to like imagine what colors th these these blocks are and what colors they go together. And I just have no idea. And no one writes it down anywhere because everyone else knows. Everyone's like, oh well, obsidian is black, and nether brick is sort of this reddish thing, and this wool. Is... I'm like, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. And it looks. It, it. I mean, there's this idea that. Well, you just know, or you just figure it out, or the color it is to you is the color it is. But when you're colorblind, that's not true. I mean, all of your intuitions about color are suspect. Many of them are wrong. I don't know what it's like to be color sighted and go, oh, well, that's just, you know, beige or burgundy or blue. Because, I mean, for one thing, if, if you know that most of the things you think about a thing are wrong, you just sort of shuffle it off to the side and, and you don't deal with it unless you absolutely have to because you have no way of understanding it or 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 it, it's it's a burden to deal with there are some unexpected upsides uh the big one that i noticed was actually exactly that that my intuitions are suspect and i, was, I studied philosophy in university and it's easy to think that, well, sure, maybe everything I know about ethics is just wrong. Maybe all my ethical intuitions or all my um, intuitions about knowledge or, or the way that the things that stuff is made of are just wrong because my intuitions about color are wrong. I mean, they're wrong all the time. We discovered, my mom discovered that I was colorblind when uh, I was five years old. And I told her this story. I'd been coloring in French class, and uh, my uh, my French teacher had come up to me and said, "You can't you can't color that girl's hair that color." And I said, "Why not?" Seems like a perfectly good color, and it was the only crayon available at the time. And I knew what color it was. It was green. And she said, "Girls don't have green hair." And I said, "Lady." There's like six girls in this class right now with green hair. And my mom went, yeah, that, yeah, he might be colorblind. My grandfather's colorblind, so it made sense. But, yeah, I mean, it's not, it doesn't inhibit my everyday life. But it's a really weird thing, and it's a thing that I wander around with all the time. What is your thing? What is your thing that, that you have that maybe nobody understands, um, or that you wish you understood better? Like, I don't know much about what it is what it's like for other colorblind people i don't know a lot of them and it's not something we usually talk about when i do meet them because it seems weird because everybody does it differently so i don't know let me know in the comments bye